Hello, I'm Jennifer Witt, Director of ProjectManager.com. Well, welcome to our whiteboard session today on what is project management? Seems like a crazy question to ask, but if you see some of the questions out on the forum and in some of the discussions we have with some of our clients, it's easy to understand how it gets confused because project management sometimes is defined in our corporate environments or our other environments and different opinions that are, I don't know, gathered all around the world. So you know me, I like to start with the clear definition to start things out right. So my uh, normal uh, reference is Google. You'll always see me say, go to Google to research something, to look something up. To, my reference today is from uh, a guide. It's a guide from Project Manage, a guide to the Project Management Body of Knowledge. It's the fourth edition by PMI, the Project Management Institute. So you may have other references that you want to uh, seek out, but this is mine for today. So the PMBOK guide, or a guide to the Project Management Body of Knowledge, fourth edition by PMI says, what, a, what project management is, is the application of knowledge, skills, tools, and techniques to the project activities to meet project requirements. So if we look at this graphically, we have project activities that are going on, and then we're producing the project requirements, the scope, the deliverables. And then so we're inputting in our knowledge as the project manager, knowledge, our skills, different tools we use, different techniques. Those are applied against the project activities. There's some kind of application process going on, a lot of different things going to produce these requirements. So I want to break down some of these terms too because people use them interchangeably. So I want to be clear on what these are because a lot of times you'll see mention of these different words, different uh, references, different lists, the top uh, skills, the top tools that are needed. So let's get clear on the different components because I believe and we at Project Manager believe it's a combination of all four of these. So knowledge. Now if you go to my good friend Google and search what knowledge means, you can see a lot of different references. You can pull up pages and pages of what this means. This is my favorite one that came up. So knowledge is what is known in a particular field. It's learned through education. So most of us are doing projects for specific industries. And because we do projects for maybe specific industries, we have a background knowledge. We've had ex um, experience and we've had different education on our industry, whether it's healthcare, whether it's construction, it may be information technology, it may be green projects, it could be uh, aeronautical, it could be anything. So uh, the knowledge is what's known in a particular field. So the skills required are, a it's a particular, a skill is a particular ability. It's our expertise. It's ability to do something well. It's arising from either a, a talent that we have, a training, or even practice. So our skills that we have in project management, you can see some of our other whiteboard sessions on some of the top skills required. But in order to hone those skills uh, more effectively, we need training and it's practice just like any other sports figures or for artists or for many other people, to hone your skills or to make them better, it's constantly learning, it's constantly growing. Some of us have, again, an innate talent, but we take those talents and we continue improving them with, with training and practice. Also, tools. What is a tool? So this uh, definition is what I pull because commonly we think of something tangible, something tangible we can put in our hand. So one of the definitions was a device or um, a device held in one's hand or used to carry out a particular function. So some of the tools that we commonly use could be software. It could be a software tool, something that we access by the internet or our desktop. Uh, a tool could be an Excel spreadsheet. It could be Microsoft Word. It could be different tools like that that we use to apply to our project. And the last one is a technique. It's a way of carrying out a particular task. So when we think of techniques, we think of methodologies, we think of processes, we think of frameworks that are required. So again, these four components are all used to contribute to, towards the project activities. 
And as you know from being a project manager, um, it takes a lot to hone these four components, our knowledge, our skills, our tools, and techniques. These are the things that we do um, in, as a project manager to actually manage our projects more effectively. So this is what project management really is all about. So I hope you get familiar with these four components and help to develop them on your own. At projectmanager.com, we feel strongly about these four components and we built them into our tool. So if you're looking for a tool to help you manage your projects more effectively, then sign up for our software at projectmanager.com.